What is up guys, it's Heartless Gamer here coming with you to another Atlas video. Today, I'm going to be showing you um, pretty much some building tips and such like that. How to build stone, kind of going over the skill tree of building and building mechanics and, and as such. And maybe just, you know, kind of add on to my structure here just to give you an idea of some of the building stuff that you can do. So we're going to get started here. So the first thing I want to do is kind of go over the uh, skill tree for you guys. So when you open up your menu, you go over to skills, and you got to go over to survivalism first. Under survivalism, you're going to have a bunch of different skill trees here. The best one to unlock is kind of uh, advanced tools. It's going to be the first one because you're going to need the smithy. That's kind of how you build the smithy as well as the fishing net, lanterns, metal picks, and such like that, kind of when you're grinding resources. You're also going to need to unlock construction here. And unlocking construction kind of opens up this skill tree here for you guys. So I kind of started off by building the basics. And when you get down to the basics here, you get all the way down to, is it this one? Yep. All the way down here, the bottom one, you got to kind of follow your way down the skill, the skill tree here. So your first one is going to be basics of building. And then you're going to go down the weaving, secrets of building, crafting speed, improved crafting speed, advanced crafting speed. And then finally, you'll get down to the building of stone mat materials. So this kind of builds all your stone structures. Uh, stone structures are the strongest structures currently in Atlas. That is known. Um, so that's kind of what your end goal is to build your structures out of that. Another one I recommend unlocking is handyman. Uh, you kind of get the the tanning, the mortar and pestle and stuff like that. It kind of helps some of the other stuff you build. And if you also want to do some of the metal metal forging and stuff like that, you're going to need uh, right here, this one right here. And that's pretty much it for the, as far as the construction table goes. Uh, you can kind of, if you haven't gone through them already, you should kind of get through them. They're help helpful and stuff like that. So we're done that part. So next, we're going to kind of go on to some of the building structures. I'm going to kind of just go into the smithy here. So within the smithy, once you unlock them, most of your building structures are going to be built inside the smithy here. And as you can see, it takes five different items to build like a, a stone floor, for instance. So you need wood, thatch, stone, metal, and fiber. So the best way to get wood is, in my opinion, is to get an elephant. Best for thing for thatch would be a draft. Stone would be a rhino. Metal would probably, it's going to be your pickaxe. There's no team really that's helpful or that beneficial for metal other than your pickaxe. You can go find a metal island or somewhere where there's high metal tier. Um, for the fiber, I recommend getting a bear. So that's kind of how you get all that stuff. And let's see here. Where's my metal? There's some metal right there. So I'm just going to throw some metal in there. Just gotta build a couple structures for you guys, just so you can understand some of the building mechanics here. Apologize in advance for not having some of this built already. And we just need some stone. Uh, stone, I like, so, I would recommend building one of these ship crates. It's gonna make your life a lot easier when it comes to grinding and building. Mainly because it stacks in like 500,000s and stuff. And there we go, there's one of those. So, uh, let's see, we're in a doorway. Got your doorway. And a roof. And I think that's pretty much going to cover the basics here for what we need to do in this video. So, I'm just going to kind of show you here. So, the building aspect of this game is very similar to Arch of All Evolved mixed in with Conan Exiles. Now, if you haven't played those, those are both very good games. I recommend you guys trying them out. I do not have many videos on them, if I have any on them, I just wasn't into it then, um, on making videos in those games, but however, they're good games to check out, a lot of people who play Atlas have been Arcs with all the Vault players, as well as Conan players, so I'd recommend checking them out. So the first thing we're going to start with here is the floor. So being the floor, you got two types of floors, you got a triangular floor, and then you got your regular standard floor. Um, you can also change the depth of the floor and how you want to be built like this. It just kind of depends on like your current placement or snap points. Like we went here, you'd only have two types of floors. However, if we want to go here, it's going to try and give you different options of how you want to place your, your current floor when you hit right bumper or left bumper 
kind of changes everything, your snap points and your types of floors. So something that wasn't in Arsenal Evolve Evolved that was in Conan Exiles was this aspect of the, the foundations where you can actually stack foundations on top of each other. If you can see here, I have, if you look, I know it's kind of dark on my screen here, but I have two foundations, one's here, if I can get the snap point in. Yep, one's right there, and then you have one on top of each other, essentially. So you do have that kind of aspect of snap points, and see here, you can actually do it right here. That's actually better for you guys. Better, better concept right there is putting it in. I just put one right there. So that kind of goes over the metal floor for you guys. When you go over the doorway slash fence support, so, and this is actually isn't the doorway. I thought I built the doorway. So I guess we'll go over the fence support. So same concepts here. It kind of gives you all different snap points and which ways you want to put them. How big you want them vertically, the the way they're going to face and stuff like that. I'm going to place that one on here. Then you got your your roof slash make it a ramp or a staircase. So right there's a ramp. You got your stairs you can make it, a half stair, a triangular roof. If you want to like make triangular roofs for your castle or building. Then you got your corner roofs, your valley roofs, as well as your roof doorways. So this kind of kind of some of that right there. Um, we'll kind of go into the ceilings now. Now, now for ceilings, you got your square ceilings, your traditional square ceilings. You got your ceiling doorways, your triangular ceiling to add as well as your catwalks. So that just kind of gives you some aspect of that. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope this guy's definitely did help you get some kind of understanding on how to build and what to build, uh, what kind of building mechanics, some of the resources needed as such. I know I didn't go into every single building structure, but I went into some of them and I ho hoping you know you guys now have a basic knowledge of how the building works and what you can possibly do with it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, drop a subscribe Hit that like button. I hope to see you guys next time. Also, go ahead and follow me on Twitch as that's where I am currently live streaming. I hope to see you guys in one of my live streams. Don't be afraid to say hi. 